name is W.D. Hinojosa. I am a general surgeon here in Norman, Oklahoma at Norman Regional. I grew up in West Texas in San Angelo. I uh, went to college there and then went on to medical school in Fort Worth, Texas, where I was exposed to general surgery on my OBGYN rotation. And I just really found that fascinating. They'd be able to, to heal using my hands, which I enjoy doing. I enjoy building things. I enjoy um, projects at home tinkering and always kind of fixing things and general surgery was a big kind of combination of those things of being able to, to use my hands and at the same time help someone get better. Many years ago general surgeons practiced all kinds of medicine. I mean there weren't really specialties back then so there weren't thoracic surgeons or cardiac surgeons. As medicine has become more and more specialized some of those things are getting taken away from our practice and for me uh, mostly what I do, and, and I would say that a lot of general surgeons has a lot to do with the abdomen, stuff in the belly. So I do a lot of abdominal wall hernias, I do um, umbilical hernias or belly button hernias, I do groin hernias. I, um, I also do anti-reflux surgery such as um, hiatal hernia repairs or uh, Nissen fundification, stuff that will help with uh, acid reflux. So robotic surgery is pretty much an advanced form of laparoscopy. Um, it's kind of that next step above laparoscopy. Laparoscopy was a big advancement or movement forward from open surgery where we made big incisions to get our hands inside of a patient to be able to perform an operation. And laparoscopy was a, a big step up from that and then we make really small incisions. Um, we put a camera inside whatever we're trying to do, whatever body space we're trying to operate in, um, and then through other small incisions we put surgical instruments in there to perform that surgery. Laparoscopy had limitations though, and it still has limitations because the instruments are straight and they don't bend or flex or anything like that, and robotic surgery is kind of that next step that allows for that to occur. So robotic surgery, a surgeon sits at a computer console in the operating room next to the operating table and performs the surgery. We control the robot um, through that console. There's another, um, the, the actual robot is by the patient um, and it has multiple arms on it and one of them holds a camera the same way we did with laparoscopy and the other arms uh, hold surgical instruments that we use to assist in performing the surgery. But the robot has no no brain, it doesn't do anything on its own. It's uh, everything that the robot is doing is being controlled by the surgeon in the room. So the biggest benefits are very similar to what laparoscopy is. And those are very small incisions. Um, so a small incision means less pain, a faster recovery. It means a shorter stay in the hospital sometimes. Most of the surgeries can be done outpatient. It means less chance of bleeding and less chance of infection. The robot gives us our hands back. The robot can bend its instruments, so it basically gives us the motion of our wrist that we didn't have with the laparoscopic instruments that were just straight and all they did was rotate this way. When I'm sewing with the robot, it mimics the same motion that my hand makes when I'm suturing something. What that does for a patient is that there were certain surgeries that just couldn't be done laparoscopically that we can do robotically. 